My name is Justin, and this is Ryan, and he's my right-hand man, and my sidekick. And we're in a band together. Not that kind of band! The kind of band that has performed thousands of shows all over the world, including 3,000 shows on the Las Vegas Strip. Not that kind of Vegas, this kind of Vegas. Now we turn our attention to doing good in the world, spreading our love, and inspiring others. So, welcome. Welcome. To our world of chaos and kindness. You were late. Sorry. On this episode of Chaos and Kindness, we learn the backstory of an amazing man who suffered a stroke 25 years ago, but visits the Chaos and Kindness store daily. We wanted to know where he comes from, a little bit about his background, and what makes him so special. I mean, he was an entertainer. But first, Ryan attempts to break a world record of how many eggs he can smash on his head in one minute. Ow! So, let's get started. First, you have to understand the world that we live in. We have attention deficit hyperactive disorder, which leads to these crazy ideas. So all it takes is a little bit of boredom and wham, you have like a let's break a world record. And that's what we had today. Today we were thinking like, what was something that we could do that's completely random? And we came up with the idea that we'd break a world record. Well, Ryan would break a world record. So we looked up every world record we could possibly think of and thought, what world record could we actually break with no talent and no practice? And the world record for the most eggs ever cracked in 60 seconds is 80 <laughs> using your head that's the key here so we're going to challenge ryan to breaking 80 eggs with his head in under 60 seconds which is what 0.8 seconds an egg it's an excellent idea Ooh, good yes to break eggs and world records My whole argument is, if the goal is to break as many eggs as you can in under 60 seconds, you want the egg to be as thin as possible. Now, are organic eggs thicker or thinner? That sounds thick. I think white eggs are actually thinner. So we want white eggs. 18, we make sure there's none broken, 18. So you have to do, really you need seven dozen eggs Bap, 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 bap. God, that's a lot of dozens, dude. It's just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you know you can't break an egg squeezing it like this? I'm trying. It's hard to do. Nine, 10, 11, Awful. 12, 13, blackout, way back up. 15, yeah. 16, what yeah, are you okay. Doing my life? Yeah. yeah. Do you think you'll have a red mark on your forehead or not? I have a red mark on my forehead from practicing. I one of those. <laughs> you know. Make it look funny. No, huh? we're cracking them over my head. Oh. Yep, just normal day for us. 18 plus 52 is 72. That's 96 eggs, right? 18, 36, 72, 82, 90. It's 90 eggs. Times 10 is 120, that's all I know. 90 eggs. Do you think the guy that built the world record originally practiced this? I hope not. That's so weird. You never know. Imagine that. He's like, oh, only 10 days left till the big day. <laughs> crack, 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 crack. I think you need two buckets. You have to just keep pulling. Yeah, two, two bowls, two shallow big bowls. Just do this real quick. Let's do a time. Time, time we're gonna start, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say start and stop, I'll base it on 10 seconds. So ready, set, go. One, two, three. What are we doing with our lives right now? Stop. 17, so I can do 17, so 17 times six. six. Um, 102. Oh, I'll break the world record, let's go. I can do that, I can maintain that. And how's 80 the record? I think it's because he's doing it on the table. I think he didn't know. He's, he's... Or maybe that's the record has to be on the table. Ready? Here we go. Watch. This is this is messed up. Make pretend all the eggs are lined up and you're cracking them. Here go. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh. Like this. Dude, I gotta save. I gotta save. Head. <laughs> so no, but the guy that does it on TV does all the eggs in a line. He goes, gun, 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 gun. that's that's the whole thing. Ready? Ten. Get ready. Get down low. I'm, my, my thing is not about the head hurting, it's about your neck getting tired. Oh, that's better. Okay, ready, set, go. One. Dude, it hurts. 79 to go. Oh, I really can't use a hat, man. Don't use your hat, take I, your hat off. Yeah, I need like a wig or something. All right, here we go. Ready, on your mark, get set, go. One, two, three, four, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No. This is so painful. I'm really not a fan of this idea. I would way rather just go crack, 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 crack. Hold on, I want to show you something. You ever seen this trick? You can't, you can't break an egg like this. Look. Look how hard I'm squeezing. No. I swear to God. Look. Shut up. <laughs> right. I swear to God. Make sure you're squeezing the egg. It's weird, right? Is that real? Yeah, you can't break an egg. I don't so get it. listen, what I'm saying is you just have to crack it. It's it's this fast the whole time. All right. So let's practice one real quick. When you first told me about the record, I I thought the video was gonna be a guy doing this. So when he had him lined up, that was new to me. Maybe he thought that was the fast way to do it. I'm thinking the hands is faster. I think the hands is faster. I think I can do it fast. Try like what? How fast do you can do it? So it had been decided that Ryan would attempt to break a world record of hitting 80 eggs off of his head in under 60 seconds. I'm just confused as to how my life has been reduced down to doing this. I don't know exactly what's happening. This is not something that I'm particularly passionate about. We start in 20 seconds. I hope we just, I hope we at least have a good time. I'm wearing boots. Timer is set for one minute. You're watching it here. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, dude, no, no, you Five, slow down. Six, Give me my hands. Ow! 11, 12. Harder, dude, you're not breaking. Ow! 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 There you go. Thank you. Apologies. You're on pace, you're on pace. Ow! There you go. Dude, that one really hurt fast, your blood. <laughs> <laughs> the record! You didn't break the record! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on right now. This is this is my job, this is my life. Dude, it's in my boot. It's dripping down like a 25 now. seconds left! Kill it, right now! 25 oh. seconds left! You can My head is on fire at this point. I'm bleeding. I don't even know what's happening. My forehead is dripping blood, and there's just egg yolk and eggshells all over me. Oh, dude, not good. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, so he failed, bitch. You got like 28. Does he even have a cloth, a towel? It's a lot of pain, and everything gets slippery, and somehow I got an egg in my boot. Let me see. Ah. Do you feel your forehead at all? I think I No, I don't feel my forehead. That's the problem. I don't know what's happening up there. Did it actually really hurt? Yes. What part? Oh. Really? Yeah. I usually wake up in the morning and I eat eggs, like almost every day. Probably never gonna eat another egg again. Coming up after the break. From being a Roy Orbison impersonator to having a stroke at age 53. And now he's a part of our family. He doesn't know it yet, but we're taking him shopping to get a jacket. When we opened our Chaos and Kindness store a month ago in Laconia, New Hampshire, we heard a story about a man who would come in every single day. And we started to notice that he would come in, sit down, take some candy, and leave. And we wanted to learn more about this man. This is my, my friend Roy. Roy actually uh, had a stroke, right? You had a stroke. <laughs> yep, and now he can't talk, uh, but he smiles a lot. And we gave him this Chaos and Kindness hoodie. He had a little notebook in his pocket, and it had all his information in it. And I realized at that point, that's how we communicated. As time has gone on, we've learned a lot about Roy, from being a Roy Orbison impersonator to having a stroke at age 53. This amazing man comes to our store every single day, and now he's a part of our family. And we wanted to do something nice for him, so that's what we've done. The goal today is to get Roy a new jacket because we've noticed that he's got, he's got some holes in his pockets. He doesn't know it yet, but we're taking him shopping to get a new jacket. He doesn't know. We're going this way, Roy. The whole thing with Roy is, every day he comes to our store, I've noticed that this jacket he has on it always has these holes in it. Winter's coming, 
because a lot of things I used to put in his pockets, like all the candy from our store. So, we're gonna get a new jacket for Boy today. Hey, come on in, buddy. We're going to Vegas. Hands up. Yeah. 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 What, here's what we know about Roy. So he's a musician, he's got style, he's got flair. So we try to find something that's like, it's like very Roy, but you know, it's hard to communicate. Ooh. A couple of different jackets here. Yeah, this is a good raincoat. Whoa, Roy's got tattoos. Okay, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, something a little warmer. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is actually nice. Yeah, it's gonna be easy for him to put on. Good? <laughs> mm. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's try another one. <laughs> well, he needs something that's gonna be waterproof. Dude, he looks so good in this. Uh, it's really a little small. Yeah, it's a little small for him, but it looks cool. What do you think? Good, good. Good? Good, good, good. What? Good? Good. Oh, good. Wow. What? It's the first time he's ever said like a word that I actually understood. Good, good. That, that's good. That's good. a good one. Whoa, $250 jacket. Originally? Yep, on sale for 70 bucks. Ooh, Ooh. that's nice. <laughs> we got a good deal today. <laughs> After lots of options, we found the perfect jacket for Roy. It's a Tommy Hilfiger, but either way, now he's absolutely in style and up with the times. <laughs> Go like this. Coming up after the break. The next day, we wanted to surprise him at his house. He's always been a jokester. He's always been fun to be around. Yeah. I mean, he was an entertainer. We have something for you. Look. When we opened our Chaos and Kindness store a month ago in Laconia, New Hampshire, we heard a story about a man who would come in every single day. And we started to notice that he would come in, sit down, take some candy, and leave. And we wanted to learn more about this man. This is my, my friend Roy. Roy actually uh, had a stroke, right? You had a stroke. Yep, and now he can't talk, uh, but he smiles a lot. This amazing man comes to our store every single day, and now he's a part of our family. Dude, he looks so good in this. After lots of options, we found the perfect jacket for Roy. After taking Roy shopping, the next day, we wanted to surprise him at his house. He always comes to ours, but where does Roy live? What does he do? And we wanted to surprise him. So we took a walk, found his home. He wasn't there but his daughter was, and that gave us an opportunity to learn a lot more about Roy. Come on in. Tell us about Roy. How long did he have a stroke? Oh, his first one, he was, I want to say he was 53. So how long has he been unable to like really talk and communicate? First one. Really? Yep, the first one took his speech. So he hasn't been able to talk in 25 years? No. No. Why so young? How do you have a, how do you have a stroke so young? Um. He was very hyper, very high strung. <laughs> you, you guys That's know so all about funny. that. Yeah, great. He nonstop, nonstop, on the road. He had his first joke after a show. He's Pretty always been person. a jokester. He's always been fun to be around. Yeah. I mean, he yeah. was an entertainer. The Roy Orbison part, I don't know how many years. He was Franklin Falls Junction before that, for many years. That's yeah. how most. Most in New Hampshire, people. specifically? Oh, yes. First place, look-alike, sound-alike in Toronto, Graceland. Really? Yeah. He still has it all here. Yeah. He'll show you on pictures. I mean, he has piles and piles of photo albums. He'll show you his whole life. Right. Everybody he's ever known, he knows today. Yeah. It's like, he's there, That's so can't say it. Did he take the M&M's back? I, I think he stole some M&M's from us. What? He had a big thing of M&M's. 
Yeah, the big yard stick of M&M's. Yeah. He came home with that last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, let me get my phone. M&M's are his favorite candy. He loves M&M's. M &M's. Oh, really? And saltwater taffy are his, like, to-go-tos. Oh, yeah, it's, it's hilarious, because that's all we have in the store is M&M's and salt. It was amazing hearing Karen talk about Roy. She's been taking care of him for 25 years, ever since his stroke. You can realize how much she loves Roy, and I'm just glad to share in these little moments as we also get to bring Roy into our family. Well, we're gonna go see him. Thank you. you got it. Thank you guys so much of for course. everything. Oh my God. Of course. You guys are God. so amazing with my dad. <laughs> we'll take care of him. We'll make him a rock star. After spending time with Karen and learning about Roy, it was time to head back to the Chaos and Kindness store where we hoped and we pretty much assumed that Roy would be there because we had one special gift left to give him to be the ultimate tribute to how much we care about him. Hey, buddy! Hey, we were at your house. Yeah, good. Good. He's back. It's a snowball. The kind I like to meet, pretty woman. We have, we have a surprise for you. I have a surprise for you. Chaos and Kindness has some remarkable products and items and things that we like to sell. But there's one thing that we do that's really extra special. And it's called the Collector Series. In fact, there's only ever been one Collector Series t-shirt ever made. We have something for you. What? We have something for you. You ready? <laughs> Our second one is now gonna be featuring Roy. This shirt will go down <laughs> as a limited edition, one time in history, amazing thing, and we want to dedicate it to Roy and all the love that he shares with the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's you! <laughs> it was amazing how emotional Roy was. When we showed him the shirt, he was overcome with emotion. And it made me realize he actually feels like someone's really caring about him right now, beyond his family. But he's found a place to go and be a part of something. Why? <laughs> That's awesome, buddy. You got your own t-shirt. That to me, if there was any reason to ever have a store where we have it, is for moments like these. Same one, dude. What do you think? Look, boy. Roy, look over here, Roy. Hey, nobody. <laughs> This episode really had chaos and kindness. From Ryan's attempt to break a world record, which we failed miserably at. You got, you got like 28. Does <laughs> anyone have a uh, cloth, a towel? In fact, it's the first world record we've ever attempted that we did not get. Thanks a lot, Ryan. But it was funny and it was lighthearted and we learned a lot. Breaking eggs on your head, not as easy as it sounds. But we also got to share some amazing, amazing moments with Roy. What do you think? Good, 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 good. The gentleman who comes to our store every single day, who blesses us with his amazing smile and his love. We get to give him a gift of a lifetime, show how much we respect him, 
and how much we care about him. Why? And we hope that everyone who comes to our store comes down, and if Roy's there, give him a hug and let him know how special he is. We all have a Roy in our life, I know I did, and he reminds me of all the great elderly people out there who are oftentimes forgotten. So remember, in a world full of chaos, it's important that each and every one of us continues to show our kindness. Seventeen times six. Okay. Anybody else know? Huh? Seventeen times six. Sixty. That's ninety-six. Ninety-six. What if we do it where it's you versus Tony with your heads? What? This was never a thing, dude. We're in a TV, right? <laughs> Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ow! My bleeping head. We're doing this on a concrete oh. table. On a concrete table. If you get like. 18 seconds to this thing and you give up, and we wasted all this money on these eggs. So wasting them is having them uncracked and, and able to eat? That's, that's wasted? I'm lucky, these, these aren't organic. These aren't like grass-fed eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I have his old jacket. 